this is Amebo TV to your best online television station. And right about now, we are at the ASUP um, BIDA Secretariat, ASUP Charter in BIDA. And uh, this is pertaining the protest that was carried out by members of ASUP in BIDA and also academic um, staffs. Now, it is regarding the lingering st strike that has been ongoing for the past five months in Federal Polytechnic BIDA. And now they, have, they came out in their numbers today to question this particular incident that has continued to reoccur in Federal Polytechnic BIDA. And it's also pertaining the shortfalls and deductions that were made in their salaries for the past five months. I'm about TV2, your best online television station, Federal Polytechnic BIDA. My name is Dr. Umar Sagan Mohammed, as chairman of the Federal Polytechnic Bina chapter. Okay, a situation erupted in this, this room. As a matter of fact, um, a few um, ASU um, um, officials carried out a protest today. What can you say about that? Yes, the protests have become necessary. Very, very necessary because we were thinking we should be we should be seen as a union to be addressing our problem. And that is the essence of unionism. The unionism is all about welfareism. Our welfare has been tempered with for the past five months. And we have been getting, we have been talking to one of them. We have even spoken with the council. And the, the, course, the answers they gave was not satisfactory. That was really in the sense that we want a definite, when do we get our money? Everybody, every academic staff is losing 10%. Which ranges between 30,000 and 85,000 at least. Chief lecturers will be losing about uh, 85,000 naira. Then the younger ones will be getting, uh, will, they, are, they are losing about 30,000 every month. 
So we said this is, you know, including the allowance. The same rector who told us that there is a shortfall was the one who appealed to us that we should, please, he doesn't have money now, he will set aside our allowances. And uh, we agreed with him, said, okay, because you are complaining. As soon as that one went, that was when he now told us about the shortfall again. So it was a double strategy. Okay, so about the deductions, were you people giving just the five reasons as to why these deductions were being made from your salary? They, no, from our salary, they said they were shortfall. I can tell you, office did not give them complete money. We said, okay, what are they doing now? He said, no, I can tell you, we have, they have written them, they are done. And we reported back to the Congress, and the Congress was not satisfied. So, okay, if Akanta General is the problem, there is tendency if you write letter to Akanta General, he may not get it. So the best thing is to the the best thing is to have an open letter so that even if Akanta General cannot see that letter, somebody else will read the letter and they inform me. That is the objective of what we have done, and coupled with saying we are having a shortfall. And they are recruiting. So those things we can you should look at those two problems. You have not paid me my enough money and you are recruiting. And we told him we don't have a problem with recruitment, honestly. Because our members are suffering, we need people to come and assist us because of the number of the students. Okay, so there's a major controversy I want you to talk about, and it's pertaining the suspension mm. of um, no. some of the staff. What can you say about no. that? Well, it's not some of the staff. The, all the escort of this union were served with a query letter. The same day they served them with query letter, they wanted, they wanted to serve them with a suspension letter immediately. And uh, by the grace of God, we had a meeting early in the morning which said, let us, let us, if the management cannot withdraw this query, then we, we embark on strike. If not for that strike, we are gone now. By now, we will have been served with that, with that uh, suspension. Okay, sir. A situation happened at the Department of Mass Communication yesterday where a lecturer was beaten to court. Yes. Does the um, ASU have anything to do with this? No, well, I don't know if somebody has been beaten to that extent. What happened is one of them, we, they were going around to monitor this situation. They monitored that, to monitor this strike. And uh, fortunately, uh, we we all went to Manscom, led by myself, and uh, we were going. Somebody, we just had a voice shouting, that the, where is the class rep? Where is the class rep? Go and enter, uh, go, 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 go to your class, let me have a lecture with you, and we want to see any Jupiter that will stop me from any doing bastard. that. Or any bastard that will stop me from doing that. And uh, I think that is all I know. They exchange ways, and uh, that is all I know as the leader of the group. So what are the um, out, what is the outcome that students will be expecting after the strike? Are there likely that the strike will be called off? Honestly, soon? as we are talking to you, you see, the good thing that happened now, I've just said it now, our House of Rep member representing this constituency has been of concern. He has been calling me and we have been talking. God, thank God he has raised that motion in the House today and the House Committee, National Assembly has already set a committee to come to federal police leader. This is what we want. Let people come and see the truth. Let come and see what is going on in federal police. And if it, if it will be acceptable for any... I, I give an example. When he came to power as director, what, what, what was the student paying? What are they paying now? When he came as director, our GPA, the lowest is uh, withdrawal point is 1.5. Now is 0.5. And by implication, the students they don't know what he has, the damage he has done to their life. We have withdrawn students here, they go to foot and they graduate with, with, uh, with distinction. The, the students here. You see, he didn't allow you to go and look for another, another school by, by this 0.5. It will not allow you to go and look for another school and you can stay in this school your four semester that you are expected to do at any level or HND, you stay for four years and there is eight semester and you only graduate, you will not graduate and you will not be withdrawn. So by implication, they are just collecting your money. That, well, that GPA of a thing is designed to collect your money. We, the SUG before this one, we told them, you better fight this thing. 
if they withdraw you from this school, that prepare you for another big challenge, which is better for you than to keep you here eight, eight semester without graduating with anything. These are some of the problems that we, we, we must address. But students, on the student part, I am very hopeful with these uh, people coming. I believe that this problem I've seen is has been solved. That is number one. Number two, before now, like I told you, we made several attempts to avert this strike. This strike we are in. Call, call the principal officer, they refuse to pick our call. We, I, I, we made extra effort to go and see even the council representative of the community so that he will talk to them that this thing they want to do cannot all go well. People will be angry. They refuse. We were coming from, we went to Milan Sunday. The director of SS Major State invited us. He told us what can they do in this situation now so that they won't be strike. I said, tell them to write a simple letter that they have withdrawn this query. We can go back to the table and talk. But because he didn't have the interest of the student at heart, up to this moment, that is where he is. He's not ready. Okay, sir, since you said that the director is unwilling to change his path, mm. do you think that this is enough to spur him into a different action? Well, we, we don't know where, we, we, all of us now, we don't know where this thing is taking us to. But to, I want to tell you that we, uh, we are not going back. We have made up our mind. We have suffered enough. In the way he wanted, we have been telling him, you cannot rule an institution. It's not your property. That's not property. This is a federal government school. A government school. You are running the school as if, as if you, you, as if you are the one that, that established the school. We have had rectors here. The indigenous rector about four. Nobody behaved like this. And the last rector, the same group of staff, he, he governed. And this, they have not added one person to them. So why, why, why is the system like this? Okay, so I was going to ask, why is this action coming this particular period? Why did it come earlier than this? We have made several efforts. This is not the first time we are making protests against him. This is not the first time. But people will call us, say, please, please. People will call us, please, please, please. And uh, we will relax. You see, the unfortunate situation is that this man is part of us. He has been in, he's been in the union since the day he came here. All attempts to divide this union, to kill this union, is only by the grace of God we are surviving till today. If God will have will have will have hold, uh, grant his wish, there, he told somebody we were told that by by January this year there won't be anything like a union federal project will be there. And the, all his effort is geared towards that. Now, if you don't know what he has done, he has written letter of, uh, he has given us query. He has written letter of uh, suspension, letter of dismissal. The three are waiting. That is where he's going. And all these letters will be dispatched to different members of us. No, not different. Executive of the executive union. Of the so union. that he, by the time you, you dismiss the executive of the union, have that you not killed that? Yes. You have killed that union. Where is Sunny in, in the system again? So this is what he is planning, and we know where that where that is where he is going. He knows that the union will not go back, but at least if they are giving you sack letter, you will leave. There won't be union again. The next thing is to go to court. That is where he is going, and we are being, we are, we are watching. Okay. All right, thank you very much, sir. So for Nigeria student, just be patient. But honestly. Like, like I told you, we, 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 we you need to be in our Congress and see how painful it was for declaring this strike. Everybody was pained because we have spoken to ourselves, even, the, even to tell, we went to the extent of saying, even the, the NLC strike that has been declared, we don't want to do it because of students. But this man, every day he keeps, keeps bringing issues that will bring about closing down school. If you do it now, you, you start mobilizing students. They don't like you, they don't like you. But thank God, the kind of students we are having now, the kind of leadership we have seen, and they are just starting. 
But even what happened yesterday, they have demonstrated that yes, they are leaders and they are good ones. You don't, you don't, what, what happens in the past, honestly, we don't know. Whether they are, I always tell people, well, you don't even know whether they are, they are, lead, they are students even only that in this protecting. You can't believe. You come back, you go on break, you come back the following year, they say, color, uh, school fees have been increased. You come back next year, say it's been increased, and the student union is there. Not in our time. Not school fees. If federal government want to increase fuel price by one naira, they will close down all the schools in Nigeria. All the schools in Nigeria will be closed down. And they look at you. You are the one paying this money and every day and you didn't say anything. Compare yourself with other politicians now, and your, your what you are paying. Be that is a local local area. Now. That that if it's Lagos or Potako, you will say because life is expensive, that's why you are charging high. Be that is a local place. Why is he charging people like this? So on your last note, sir. You just people for the Nigerians too. Yes, there is hope. Especially like I told you, this person that has come in now. Right. But the greatest hope is is in the hands of the rector. If the rector wants you to, as I'm talking to you, if it is the my friend that is standing here, he's the one, he's the messenger in the in the rector's office, and he just dropped that letter down. I will say go back to class. It's as simple as that. Drop the letter, go back to class. It's as simple as that. Drop the letter, withdrawing the, the query. Let's sit down and talk. Why are you giving this query? That is the simple thing we demanded for. And there is no ready to do it. So, what do you want us to do? We want to, the Nigerian students to know who love them and who does not love them. So, All right, thank you very much. Sir. Oh, thank you. Thank you for your time. Sir. All right. to your best online television station from Federal Polytechno Bida and right about now we are at the ASUP Secretariat. Now a situation erupted this morning where ASUP members of ASUP and staff of Federal Polytechno Bida embarked on a peaceful protest. So I'm here with one of the staff to get to know his take and view of the situation that happened today. So Sam, may I meet you? Sir? My name, uh, my, my name is Omar Mohamed Deda from the Department of Mass Communication, Federal Polytechnic Bida. Okay, sir. Um, may we have your take um, pertaining the situation that happened today? Uh, the situation that happens today is uh, nothing other than uh, the members of the academic staff expressing their grievances over the lingering strike. We are aware that uh, since the inception of this current administration, I mean the administration of the current rector, Dr. Abdullah, uh, Abakar Abdul Zukogi. There have been persistent strike ranging from the one week strike to month and others. Uh, and if you look at it critically, the strike is revolving around the welfare of the staff and, uh, <clears throat> and other developmental challenges confronting the institution. The rector, as, uh, in his capacity, has always failed to dialogue with the union and what necessitated this current strike was for the past four, five months now including this month me members of the academic staff of the polytechnic have been losing some significant part of their salary and the lowest level of their people in the academic cadre that lost that always received uh, what they lost at the end of the month is nothing less than 31,000. For those who are chief lecturers and above, their, uh, uh, their salary is always short within, uh, for, with uh, 30, 40, some 70, 75. And that necessitated the union to, to query the accountant general of the federation, demanding an explanation. Unfortunately, the director decided to to manipulate the information by trying to make the youth and the general public seeking opportunity, uh, job opportunity to feel that the union is against employment. Our position as a union was clear. You cannot employ us and for the, you cannot be your workers and for the past five months you keep telling us there are shortfalls in our salary ranging from 15%, 20%, which I told you the least fragment from the academic staff is 31,000. 
There are people that are, every month, their salary is short with almost 75,000. So what the union did was, and we, in that, we've been patient. And just last month, you started releasing other appointment letters. And we now said, we held a co uh, Congress and demand explanation. You cannot be hoeing, federal government cannot be hoeing us. And the same government is employing another people. I believe the government respects the policy of no work, no pay. And where we have worked, what do you expect? If we are, it were you, what do you expect? Can you respond to that? So that was the case. And we wrote our Content General Federation an open letter demanding explanation. Instead of the rector to dialogue with the union, he decided to say he's suspending the union and members of the academic staff. That led to the protest you saw this morning. And we have affirmative in our position that we will continue. the last Congress we held passed a vote of no confidence on the rector. So we are still on it and we intend to pursue it to the logical conclusion and we are very sure that until and unless this rector is no longer in this system, we will continue, the student will continue to suffer and the staff will continue to experience a uh, strike. This is because he has little regard, little or no regard for their welfare. Thank you. He's trying to say that the major objective that you guys are pushing on with this strike is for the rector to go away from his seat. Yes, it's part of our objective. We are now saying enough is enough. We cannot longer be enslaved. You, if this, if the federal, we are asking the federal government to send a visitation panel. Thank God, Honorable uh, Said Musa Abdul, member representing Bida Kachagbako Federal Constituency, this morning raised a very important motion at the floor of the uh, House of Rep, matter, uh, matter of national uh, urgent attention, demanding the House to send a visitation panel to come and investigate the lingering crisis bedeviling this institution. So we are hopeful that the House will come and do a very good job. Okay. Here we had it from Mr. Diaidia, a, um, a member of the ASUP, and also a staff of the Federal Polytechnic Bid. Life scenes about today. And don't forget, there is still an ongoing strike in Federal Polytechnic Bid, which is one of the reasons that the ASUP um, officials and also academic staff have put out this protest in order to find better solution to the problem. This is the Lame TV to your best online television station.